wasn't that a strange beginning to my video. And that's because of a strange beginning to my day. Yes, the pendulum is reversing. And you had to watch. Well, you saw it in the title, but you had to watch. I know it's a little clickbaity. But it's actually very, very true. As I sit here, first thing in the morning with stormy skies around me. A beautiful day ahead though. 11 with some rain, and I think rain is beautiful. But pitter patter, get at her, hippie. Folks, I have a new sense of purpose today, or a reinvigorated set of purpose. Why? Because Elon Musk bought not only controlling shares, but enough to give give him the voting power to overturn anybody else on the board of Twitter. <laughs> and I find that interesting and fun because I've always said for about a year, year and a half, I've been saying to a lot of y'all that this information war, this lack of ability to actually communicate unless your communication is already a part of the zeitgeist that they want you to communicate within the boundaries of. We lived in a world where the President of the United States, Trump, could be canceled and taken off a platform that houses an account for the Ayatollah Khomeini. Just total ridiculousness. And I honestly thought by the, by the stuff that Elon was talking about a week or two ago about asking about does your current platforms like Twitter handle your needs, he was asking and he told people be careful how you vote. It's going to have consequences. And I really thought he was going to buy his own create his own and my young son told me on the way to school today I'm walking back home from school that dad if you're trying to shut down the bakery well he didn't put it this way he just I said it after he said you can't you can't compete if a lot of people are going to stay in the old platform, your new platform would never take off. It makes more sense to buy the platform. And to put that into an analogy that makes sense is if you're trying to shut down the bakery because it doesn't serve vegan, opening a vegan bakery beside it ain't going to help because the people who don't want vegan are going to go to the old bakery opening an all-inclusive bakery beside it will still not shut them down. But buying the bakery and changing the menu solves the problem. Elon. Thank goodness Elon bought the bakery. So, if you haven't seen the news, now that I've gotten through all that and explained why I feel the way I feel today, I'm I, I'm going to leave that in there because that's my mind on a Monday morning walking my son to school. I'm not all together. But what is the real news? Well, the real news is that Elon Musk bought a 9.2% stake in Twitter that gives him 73 million voting shares and he bought it at a price of 2.4 billion dollars making him the largest shareholder by a long shot Jack Dorsey the founder of CE the founder and previous CEO only had 2.2% 
<laughs> Magpies are assholes. Yeah, only 2.2%. Uh, yeah, so he bought them for 2.4 billion dollars and then shares of Twitter went skyrocketing to the point that within a week of buying a piece of Twitter, hang on, so within a week of buying that portion of Twitter, he has made 1.2 billion in profit. And now, although we can only assume his plans, I think over the next little while, we're about to see more freedom of speech in Twitter. We're about to see a forced change where the only thing that stops you from posting something is if you're calling for violence. The rest, insulting each other, things that are, things that are, eh, not so nice, but allowed in free speech should be allowed on the platform. And those who don't like what you say will stop following you and you'll soon lose your audience. That's all it's about. Twitter has become the in the, the town hall for at least the United States, even though only 10 or 15 percent of the population is on it. It has been a leader in destroying forms of thought, forms of communication, in shutting down things. For example, I'll give it right near the end because I don't want it to be political. But a year and a half ago, before the election in the U.S., it was announced by the Washington Post, by the New York Post, that uh, a right-leaning newspaper, but been around a long, long time, one of the oldest, that the president, the president-elect son, no, this was before that, just the, he was running for president. His son, Hunter, had a laptop that was found that contained very bad things that probably would have affected the election. So Twitter banned the largest newspaper in, in America and told them they couldn't even have their account back unless they take down that story and retract it. And that story has sat buried for a year and a half. Now you have that person as president of the United States and the story comes back out and it should never have been quashed. Even some of the culprits of the quashing are now saying, why was this not a story then? Could have affected the election. So, I've said it many, many times, my friends. The pendulum always swings too far in correcting society. And it went too far. This and other things that I have mentioned on my channel and in my live shows is indicative of the pendulum swinging back, correcting society from going too woke. And I think that's it. I'm at my house. That's it for Monday. We will see you again. I got some reviews coming this week. Peace and cheers, love and harmony. Catch you again.